Yes, lads, welcome back to the channel for yet another video. And in today's one, we have got Game Week 11 predictions for League 2. Um, before I do go on to the predictions, Port Vale versus Scunthorpe United is cancelled. I'm not too sure why um, the reason is. It might be COVID. I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, that's the postponed game, so I won't be predicting that, of course. Let's get into some Right, I did forget to mention last week, um, yeah, I, I, I had five points. Uh, so let's let's get on to the first prediction. The first game is Oldham Athletic against Cheltenham. Cheltenham obviously won El Glossico last week. Oldham lost to Salford, unfortunately for them. Uh, I, I can't remember all the results. I can only remember a few. But um, I think it's going to be an, an easy, confident win for uh, Cheltenham in this one. And I'm going to go Oldham Athletic 1, Cheltenham 10. Morecambe two. against Exeter. Exeter, the team that um, I do think at, come the end of the season will be up there. And I definitely think that Morecambe probably might not get relegated, like I said, uh, pre-season thoughts. But they'll definitely be down there, I think. And I'm going to go with a comfortable 2-0 away win. Morecambe nil. Next game is two. Bolton against Mansfield. Two teams that I predicted to be in the top three this season, funnily enough. Um, and both of them have started quite poor. But I am going to go with a boring game. It's not going to be the boring game of the week, uh, of the match week, sorry. I will be saying that at the end of every video from now on. My game uh, tip to be game of the week and my tip to be the bore of the week. That's what I'm going to call it. But I'm going to go Bolton Wanderers 2, Mansfield Town. Bolton Town 1, Mansfield 1. Sorry, game not 2 Bradford City against Safe End. I'm going to go with a home 2 0 win for Bradford. Um, I think they're going to be too strong for Safe End, who I think will definitely be down there come the end of the season. Not sure if they'll go down, but they will definitely be towards the bottom of the Premier League table. And I'm going to go Bradford City 2, safe and United. This game is nil. two teams very high up in the division, Cambridge United against Salford City. Now, I'm not just going to say this prediction because what will suit Newport more, but I do think this is going to be a 2-2 draw. Cambridge 2, Salford City 2. And I think it's going to be a very cagey game where both teams don't want to lose it. Um, and I think it might end up as a draw because of that specific reason both teams can't lose because it's so pivotal, you know, even 11 games in. But I'm going to go Cambridge City 2, Salford City is my boys, Newport County away at Carlisle. Um, I think we are going to be too strong for Carlisle United. The way we've started the season is phenomenal at the moment. And I have said this to quite a few people um, this season. I don't think there's a game we're going to lose. Like, even even Newcastle, we well, we technically drew the game. Um, it was just... Like, last season, normally I'd say, yeah, maybe we can draw this, maybe we might lose this game. But this season, I just, I'm confident that we're going to win every single game. And it's not being petulant, it's not being, you know, big-headed or anything like that. I genuinely think we're going to win every single game. And I'm going to go with Carlisle United 1, Newport County 2. Uh, Tristan Abrams, and I say it every week and he doesn't score. Maybe he'll score uh, this week. But I'm going to go Tristan Abrams and just Colchester here. against Stevenage. Now I'm going to go with a Colchester 2-0 win against Stevenage. Um, we know Stevenage don't like to score goals, which uh, is um, is quite annoying for them. And I think they're going to get beat again. Obviously, they drew on the weekend 0-0 with Grimsby, I believe it was. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, of course, in the comments. But I'm going to go with Colchester United 0, Stevenage. Uh, Colchester United 2, sorry. Stevenage is Forest Green Rovers against Leighton Orient. Now, Forest Green uh, lost El Glossico last, or on the weekend, I should say, to Cheltenham. And that's going to derail them a little bit. And Leighton Orient, who they're up against this midweek, drew to Bolton, which is a massive point for them. And I'm going to go with another draw this time. I think Forest Green, Leighton Orient, the, the type of game this is going to be is very cagey. And they've sort of played each other at the wrong time for either team to get a win, I think. Obviously, Cam uh, Cambridge. Obviously, Leighton Orient drew with Bolton, which is a massive point. But in the scheme of things, it's not because of how bad Bolton have started. And then the loss for Forest Green against their rivals is going to be derailing for them, like I said. I'm going to go with Forest Green 1. Next game is Grimsby Town against Barrow. Now, at the start of the season, I disrespected Barrow and I do feel sorry for, um, and I am sorry to any Barrow fans that, you know, were subscribed to my channel because I did, I did sort of think you was going to be the whipping boys of the league along with Harrogate and I thought you both were going to go straight back down or just about survive. Uh, you've had quite a decent season. It's sort of inconsistent, but considering a lot of Barrow fans probably thought they were going to lose every single game or, or, you know, be competitive but still lose, 
It's been a decent start, and I'm going to go with Grimsby Town 1, Barrow the next, 1. The next game is Harrogate against Tranmere. This is going to be um, the most boring game of the week or of the match they fixed us, in my opinion. And I'm going to go with Harrogate Town 1, Tranmere Rovers 0. Um, I think this is going to be the most boring game, and I think the most entertaining game will be Cambridge against Salford in that 2 2 draw that next I predicted. This game is Walsall against Crawley. Now, like I said, um, in previous uh, predictions, some teams that you'd expect to start well have started bad uh, and vice versa. Now, Crawley have been a weird team for me because I thought they'd be in that bottom half, but they beat uh, Cambridge on the weekend, which is a massive result for them. And I think they're going to follow that up with another set of three points. I'm going to go with the same scoreline that they won on the weekend. And I'm going to go with Walsall 1. We're going to wrap up today's video, guys. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. We are on the road to 700 subscribers. We're aiming for 1K by the end of the year, so if you can help me get to that, I'll be much appreciated. Um, obviously, let's see how many points I get this weekend. These predictions are going to come out every single week, or every single match day, I should say, up until game 46. And uh, I might try and get guests on halfway through the season. Obviously, what I'll do is I won't calculate their points for the whole game of the whole um, season. I'll calculate my points compared to their points for when I do get guests in. Uh, but if you have gone on to enjoy this video, please make sure to smash it a like. Let's try and get, I don't know, 20 likes on this video. That would be much appreciated. Um, I'll see you in the next one. Probably a match day vlog tomorrow for Carlisle away. I didn't do one for the last two games. I've done a match review against Bradford. I didn't do anything for Colchester, unfortunately. But there will be a match vlog tomorrow for Carlisle away. So I'll see you in that. And as always, up the county.